What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, been a little while since I put a video out and for good reason. We've been doing a lot of uh, other stuff other than hunting things like that. So we've been uh, pretty busy with race car stuff, trying to get um, my brother's new shop in order and putzing away and plugging away at my Mustang, trying to get that race ready. We, uh, we finally got the car pretty much finished up, uh, ready, ready enough to go car showing and stuff like that. Uh, at the beginning of the year, we took it to Detroit Autorama and took first place in our class with it with a fresh build. Um, so we're pretty pumped about that. A couple things that we wanted to do before we actually took it racing. Uh, new trans, new suspension, stuff like that. Um, to get it to hold the, the power that it's gonna make this year, which is should be a substantial amount compared to what it was before. Um, so now it's, uh, it's I don't know, July 13th, I think it is. Um, and it's the beginning of my prep season for the upcoming 2022 deer season. So the wife and kids left me uh, unsupervised today. So I am hitting the road. I'm going to go uh, check out a piece of state land that I used to hunt back in the day when I was younger, but then kind of lost interest in it uh, when my cousin moved up to the UP. So we're gonna go back and do a little bit of scouting in that area, check out and see what uh, has changed, what's developed, and if there's anything good. It's only about 45 minutes away from my house. So it's not a far drive or anything like that for me. It might be something that I'll be able to, uh, to bust out of work a little bit early and head to um, when I don't have a chance to get up to one of the farms uh, and whatnot, which those farms are a little bit further away um, than a 45 minute drive for me. So we'll, uh, we're just gonna go have fun. We're gonna go putts in the woods. I got fishing pole and my tackle box with me. So in case I see a little river, we might, uh, we might cast the line, try to rip some lips. So stay tuned. We're gonna go out and do a little scout and have some fun. Yeah, uh, we just got out here to the state land that, um, that I wanted to check out. I've never actually been to this, uh, piece of the property that uh, is considered Port Huron State Game Area. Um, and we loaded up, I walked into the, uh, the down a trail a little bit and got to one of the spots, it looks like a like an open field um, that's on state land, but actually it looks like, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but this is definitely like a state managed food plot. Um, like I said, I've never been here before, so I don't know what kind of hunting pressure is actually here, but this is definitely worth checking out come uh, hunting season to see how much human traffic is actually going through here and stuff like that. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what's actually growing. It's, uh, I don't know what it is. I've never seen that before. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, but... It's definitely, it definitely looks promising. Um, it's nice and green. The, the soil's all tilled up. So this is definitely something that was put in intentionally for sure. Um, but it looks pretty good. Seeing if there's any like decent trees. It's real, real brushy and real thick along the edges. I'm gonna see if, uh, if I can't find something to maybe do a, a hang on set. Um, maybe even a climber it's a real easy walk to get to it's not uh it's not very far and there's like a horse trail that i can park off of the road and then walk in i've already found a couple of deer trails coming in and out of uh of this food plot and a lot of good uh good tracks and stuff like that all over the place so i'd be real surprised if i don't see any deer realistically but uh, yeah, I'm gonna check this out and do a little bit more scouting around here. But so far, this looks pretty promising. It, uh, it's a nice open plot of land. As you can see, I mean, it's, it's not super huge, but it's, uh, it's pretty narrow across. It's only, I'd say from here to here is maybe 55 yards or so. Um, Looks pretty good. 
and then it's all woods around us. And like I said, this is all state land. Um, on the other side of this tree line here is where the trail that I walked in on. So about 60 yards, 70 yards past the wood line is private property. So I, I can't really go too much further that way, but there's, I don't know, I think it's like 50 or 60 acres that this little parcel is that, uh, that I could check out and actually do some setting up on and hunting and stuff like that. And it looks like on, uh, on my maps that there's another access point how they probably get the equipment in here down at the end around that bend there. Um, so I'm just going to do some walking and see what I can see. Hopefully we can uh, come up with a game plan and maybe set up some cameras. I got some cameras back at the truck and uh, we'll see if I can't set something up decent and maybe put something together for a decent hunt this year. I've never taken a, a deer off of the property out here, even though I've hunted it a long time. And it'd be interesting to see. I know there's a lot of good bucks out here. I've seen them on uh, on the Michigan Buck Pole Facebook page, and I've seen them in person. I've seen guys drag deer out of this area, not specifically here, but out of this area, and some nice bucks and stuff like that. Plus, my cousin's seen a lot of nice bucks out here on his own. Um, so I'm just hoping maybe I can put something together that's going to be a nice little uh, hunting spot that's close to home, fairly close to home at least. Kind of go from there. So let's see what else we can find. All right, so we're just like uh, cruising around. And this squirrel I see is just hanging. He's just hanging upside down. Chilling. Wild stuff you see out here. So we walked across the first field that we've seen and uh, I found a pretty decent tree that I could probably hang a stand in. So now I'm walking across this little finger of woods that separates these two, uh, these two little fields. This looks like a pretty decently used deer trail right here. A bunch of fresh tracks in it and whatnot. Fresh deer shit. This is coming out into the smaller field. It's a little bit narrower. It's a lot narrower, actually. You can see, it's just, it's long, it kind of like wraps around. And goes like that. Um, actually, it looks like the deer are using like this right here as a trail to walk this edge. There's a ton of tracks all over the place. So I'm gonna walk this edge for a minute. I'm gonna see what the this all is about and I kind of want to go into the woods over there and see how thick it is it looks real thick on the surface here but looking past the edge it looks like it opens up into some decent hard woods so we'll see what uh, what this brings this um there's a lot of small small trees on the edges. I don't think I'd really be able to set up a stand in a decent location, maybe down there, maybe at the end over there. But uh, I guess we'll see how the rest of this walk goes. I'm gonna cut across real fast and head into the woods. See if I can't find any deer runs coming out of this side. There's a handful of good runs on in the other field that we were looking at. I can see where the tops of some of these plants are all chewed off. I would assume from the deer and stuff like that. So. Move on in. We're going to check this out. I'm going to try and find a deer run that looks decent to go into the woods here. And, uh, and go explore and go check that out. 
bugs are getting kind of nasty out here. It looks a little bit thick, but I think we'll be able to walk through it. Actually, I kind of like it being thick. That means maybe the bucks are hanging out in here. We'll check it out. All right, so we, we started making our way in, and it got a little bit thicker. It looked like it was a little bit more open, but uh, it started getting real thick. So I'm just walking, I don't know, probably about 15 yards inside the edge of, uh, of the field. And there's like this little transition from like real thick stuff that's all back here to stuff that's a little bit more open. I mean, it's not, it's not open, open, but it's a little bit more open. And I'm seeing a lot of deer sign and stuff like that. So one thing I'm looking for pretty heavy right now is rubs, actually. There's one right here. It's a rub from last year, it looks like. Oh, that's good. I like that. Actually, this looks like one a lot older. That's always a good sign. I mean, these bucks are definitely coming through here, which is better than uh, not seeing any sign of a buck at all. Um, I think that's the first rub that I've seen. to kind of there's a couple of trees actually there's one here it looks like two on the edge on that field back over this way that i'd be able to hang a stand in probably get a shot into the field and have a shot into this stuff um depending on how thick it is during uh during the fall i mean it's it's real green right now but i know a lot of this stuff's gonna die down and, uh, and go away and definitely give me a little bit better shot. That's one of the things I always look for is right now is it's green and thick and yeah it looks like you got good cover but as soon as it, the green goes away you might lose all that cover that you planned on and hoped for. So here's might be might be doable. I might be able to do something with this. This is like right in the corner of that, um, or at the end of that real narrow little food plot, which looks to be a pretty good spot. I walked the edge all the way around it, and it, uh, it's got deer tracks, buck and doe tracks, like crazy, all throughout it. So the deer are definitely using it. I just, I don't know when they're using it. I mean, it's still early season, so, um, and the plants are still growing, but there's a lot of the tops of these, whatever it is, eating off. So they're definitely coming in here and grazing, um, probably at night though, or in the evening. You can hear that trail is only, I don't know, 150 or 200 yards behind me this way. And you can hear people, I've, I've heard a couple of people with dogs and on bikes and stuff like that. So it's definitely used, but I'm thinking during the cooler months and once the snow hits the ground, it's probably not gonna be very active or anything like that. Every Everybody that I've seen riding the trail when I was walking in, we're on pedal bikes and whatnot. So they're not gonna be able to do that much longer, um, or at least until snow falls and it starts getting cold. Ain't nobody wanna do that when it's cold. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep walking this little open, opener area, and then make my way through this thick stuff and see if I can't find like, maybe a bedding area. That would be super awesome if on the other side of this is a bedding area and they're using this as a corridor to come for food. And if they are, which is kind of what I'm thinking because there's, I've already found a couple of trails that look like they're being used pretty heavy with uh, fresh scat on them. So I'm thinking that they're using it for a corridor. And if I could set up accordingly, if I could figure out how they're using it, set up accordingly and ambush them, then they won't even know that I'm even here. Um, there's still a bait ban in the lower, uh, of Michigan here where I'm at. So we can't put any kind of mineral or food based attractants or anything like that out to use to actually lure them in or get them close. So it's all, uh, it's all about your setup and realistically.
how, how cool was that? That was literally where I was coming from. I thought they were, uh, that's where the deer were coming from. So I wanted to go out there and check it out. And I, I heard something and look, and boom, they were right there. They're making a beeline towards me. And I got, I don't really have that much of a backdrop behind me. I just crouched down and they were, geez, he was, uh, that small buck was only 25 yards from me, maybe 30 yards from me. Um, we'll have to look back at the video, but he looked like, uh, like he was a little six point or something like that, that, uh, probably get a pass for me realistically, but I mean, you never know. <laughs> Depends. He was still in full velvet. But he looked like a young deer, maybe a year old deer or so. So he might not have anything to worry about with me this year. But mama that was with him, she looked like a pretty good sized doe. And the way that the tag system is nowadays here in Michigan, um, I can shoot a couple does and still shoot two bucks, which unless they're bruisers, I'm only going to shoot one. But uh Man, that was cool. That was super cool. It's, like I said, this is my first time out at this piece of um, property, this little parcel, and seeing bucks. That is a good sign. I mean, seeing good sign for bucks, too. So I'm going to keep pushing on. I'm going to do a little bit more scouting and see what, uh, what else we find. So far, so good. I like it. Um, I might be doing some hunting here this year, but... I guess we'll find out, see what else we can find. Well, just when uh, I was thinking like, man, I haven't seen any sign of like hunter activity. I come across this old, old stand. Like it doesn't even have, it's got an old wooden ladder propped up against it with no climbing sticks or anything like that. It's only about 14 feet off the ground. It's totally dilapidated. You can see the chain. Chain has grown into the tree substantially. This thing has been here a long time. And actually, looking at it, it's really grown into the tree. This thing's been here a long time. Long time. But this is probably about 50 or 60. Actually, probably a little bit longer than that away from where I just seen those deer. And I was thinking like, man, this is a good spot. I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody. I hear something going down the road. I wonder how close I am to the road. Sounds like something's, I can hear them. So we can't be too far, but it's a good spot definitely a good spot keep trucking along see what else I can find all right well we uh we moved on to a different section of this state land this uh down the road a couple miles or so not too far away from where uh where we just were and seen those deer um and came out here actually we're we're on the border currently right now right behind me is um, a big old soybean farm field that's owned by uh, Ruby Tree Farms. And I, I currently am on the property boundary line right now. Um, so if I go any further that way, I will be trespassing. Currently I am on state land. Um, I've seen a ton of deer sign, lots of tracks, lots of poop coming in and out of the fields. And uh, I just found this really old stand that was probably built here forever ago. Because technically it's on the state land, but it's, it's right on the property line. Like right on the property line. So it could have been done by a former property owner hunting the field before maybe this all grew up a little bit. Because it's all real spindly stuff. Um, and whatnot but we are we are right here i'm actually walking on a deer trail and i'm finding lots of sign a big old fresh pile of scat 
and it's just it's it's littered littered with tracks and scat all over the place so it's definitely a good sign they're probably using this area here as like a good staging area to uh to head into the field to feed um i like it i like it a lot it's a little bit of a far walk but it's a pretty easy walk it's uh i think once once everything starts to die down and we lose some of the green it'll be a little bit easier for me to uh to actually get back here uh walking through there's like some fields at the front side of this property um and it's a, the grass is like up to my waist so it's it's a little bit hard to move through but it's doable it's it's not hard so i think once some of that stuff kind of dies away it'll be easier to uh to access all the way back here i'm at the very back side of the property um right with uh like the corner the back corner of baby tree farms on the one side of me and then some more private property on the other side which actually i think ruby tree farms wraps all the way around if i'm not mistaken i'd have to look at the onyx again but it's uh it's nice this, there's a lot of old growth here a lot of big trees and definitely some trees i could probably hang a stand in i wouldn't mind um, trying to hunt from ground blind i still have not shot a deer from ground blind uh, with my bow yet taking a couple with a gun but not with my bow so that's kind of something I want to accomplish I had a chance last year and big doe busted me as I was uh, coming to full draw so I just need to set up a little bit better I think they came right in on me they were right on top of me so that didn't really give me a, a good or decent chance to uh to come to full draw on her, but it is what it is, and I'm liking this, I'm liking this a lot, this is uh, very promising, like I said, a lot of deer sign, I haven't seen any deer back here yet, but driving here, and uh, a couple of the, oh, there's a deer, yep, there's a deer, there's a deer in the field, there's a couple
still see him. <laughs> well, that answered my question. I knew that this was going to be a good spot. I knew it was going to be a good spot. That's a good sign, right on the edge of one of these bean fields. season it's mid-july right now but that's definitely a good sign that uh i think i found a good spot that i'm gonna try and set up at and do some hunting maybe try and do some serious hunting here like i said this isn't too far away from my house it's pretty easy to get to it's ah whatever jamming me on the foot um like i said i was seeing some really really good deer sign um oh, these bugs. it's a little bit of a far walk but i can deal with a far walk for sure as long as uh as long as the deer here definitely gives me uh some comfort in knowing that uh it's a good active spot. I like it. I like it. Like it a lot. So I think um, we're going to uh, definitely mark this down on potential spots to shoot a nice buck. I mean, I know there's, there's bucks everywhere. It's just a matter of finding them, finding a good spot finding the territory that they use but oh man whatever it is and my foot is killing me oh. but uh, yeah i think i think i might set up here for sure i'm gonna have to get uh get some of my more some more pure white tail deer scents and start doing my mock scrape system up out here just heard a gunshot <laughs> sounds like the neighbors that live on the farm over there like I said I'm walking like right on the property boundary right on the edge if I would have went like where I stopped, if I would have went another like three feet, I would have been trespassing. But not where I'm at right here. This is all state land. Small portion of state land. It's not very big at all. So hopefully we don't have a lot of uh, other people to deal with out here. Hopefully they weren't shooting at deer. Like I said, there's uh, it's a little bit later in the afternoon. Deer are starting to move a little bit. I seen a bunch of deer in the fields on the way here. Hopefully those people aren't shooting deer because that would be bad. But rock on. I'm uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I think I found a nice potential spot for this season coming up. That's close to home. So the wife won't get too mad at me for blowing out of here. But I think we're going to uh, head back to the truck, wrap up today's scouting adventure. It was very, very successful in my opinion. And uh, looks like I got some work to do. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And we'll get back at you next time. Later.